What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm super pumped to share with y'all the stock that I'm buying this week. And guys, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, subscribe because every week I post a new, a new video telling y'all about a stock that I'm buying. This week, it's a brand new stock for me. I've never bought this, bought this stock before. In fact, I've never even bought into this industry before. I usually like tech stocks, okay? Now, I've bounced a little bit into apparel stocks because I absolutely love merchandise like that, um, like Lululemon, On Holding, those companies like that, fantastic companies that bought into those recently. Um, my core is still technology, but today we're taking um, a little bit of a swing onto the wild side, or maybe I should say we're making it a little bit spicy because today I'm buying some Wingstop stock. And I'm super, not GameStop, not GameStop, guys. Wingstop. Wingstop, guys. It is a fantastic restaurant. It's a fantastic company. It's a fantastic franchise. Let me tell y'all why I love Wingstop today and why I'm buying it. Now, I gotta say, you look at the stocks price, like if you look at the stocks graph, you're gonna see, my goodness, Nolan, why are you buying Wingstop at such a high price? I understand, it's a high price. I'll talk more about that in a second. But here's the thing. I love Wingstop, it, and as far as the rest, the only restaurant I added to my portfolio so far, the reason I love Wingstop so much is two words, operational simplicity. Wingstop's business model features a simple menu. They focus on digital ordering, delivery, and this simplicity is what leads to relatively easy restaurant operations contributing to their higher same store sales growth. Just an example, their domestic same store sales grew by 28.7% in the last quarter. Yeah, you heard that right, 28.7% same store sales growth in the last quarter. And we're seeing rapid growth with this company. The simplicity of operations is enabling rapid expansion in their store count. Their store count increased by approximately 13%. That's huge in the past fiscal year. Just think about that. Wingstop is already an established brand. A lot of people, most of my friends, most of your friends, probably you yourself have heard Wingstop, probably enjoy their delicious chicken, their delicious wings, right? They grew 13%, 13% increase in their location count last fiscal year. And that, and when you combine their growth in sales and their store expansions, that's pushing up their revenue. Guys, sit down for this one, by 45.2% year over year in the most recent quarter. That's right, revenue is up 45%. A lot of people are like, man, you know, Wingstop's already been here, the, the, the ship has sailed, no. No, they've been here, but they are continuing to push the envelope, especially this level, this size of a company. Absolutely insane. I, I would make this statement. I think we're still in the early game. We're still in the first quarter when it comes, <laughs> see football wings, you see what I did there? We're still in the first quarter when it comes to the Wingstop story. Their franchise model is the growth engine. Don't, don't miss that. And that's because franchisees are so satisfied. Wingstop franchise model is highly appealing to franchisees, which is leading to the strong growth through existing partners. Over 90% guys of new franchise restaurants in 2022 and 2023 were opened by existing franchisees. Yeah, that's right guys, people love Wingstop. They open a store, it goes amazing, they make a profit, and then they're like, I gotta open another one and another one. Franchisees are building up their store count in Wingstop because they absolutely love the franchise model that Wingstop offers. Happy franchisees are contributing to the rapid expansion, which is fueling shareholder value. And again, stock is going parabolic, guys. Now, of course, as with all stocks, there's some risks, there's some considerations. I don't wanna get on here and give you a commercial, I wanna tell you why I bought it, and then I wanna tell you some things that you should keep your eye on because no company is perfect no matter what people tell you. Number one, competitive landscape. Wingstop holds a unique niche in the market, but don't get me wrong, major competitors can easily adapt and challenge 
its position. Wingstop does not have a very big moat, guys. All right, they make chicken. Okay, this isn't Apple's iPhone. This isn't this isn't like a, a lithography company. No, no, no. This is chicken. Okay, now they do an absolutely fantastic job. Their leadership is amazing, but just know competition it's there. They got to stay on their game. They got to keep pushing the envelope. They got to keep going hard because y'all know in the restaurant business, you cannot get complacent. All right. Number two issue is commodity costs. <laughs> it's on the, the problem with this restaurant is chicken, guys. Chicken prices and other commodity costs are a potential risk. As y'all know, chicken wing prices, chicken prices, it goes, I mean, it's very volatile, right? Cash strapped customers may resist price increases, which can limit Wingstop's ability to, to pass those higher costs onto their customers. People are very cost conscious right now. They don't want to pay $20 for a meal. Wingstop's got to keep that in mind, got to pay for, pay, pay for their supplies, right? But then make customers happy. All right, so when you think about this, Despite competitive risks, despite commodity cost concerns, Wingstop's robust financial performance, their combined growth potential, make this an attractive investment opportunity. So while the stock's current valuation is relatively high, it is, okay? This is not a cheap, this is not a value stock, guys. The long-term growth potential does justify its place as a strong investment candidate. And that's why I'm very proud, guys, to announce that I am adding Wingstop to my portfolio to represent the restaurant niche. Super pumped about this. Out of all the restaurants that I looked at, Wingstop was the best one, and I'm super excited to have it as part of the portfolio. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, guys. It really does help out the channel. I appreciate all my supporters. All my, all my people out there, thank y'all. Y'all are awesome. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about Wingstop. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel, guys, because every day I'm posting a video. They're not all videos like this where I'm buying a stock. I usually buy a stock once a week. Usually post those videos on Mondays. But I'm, I'm posting a video every day talking about stocks that I like, talking about the stock market. So subscribe, guys, and let's learn and get better together. All right, guys, I'll catch you tomorrow with another video. Take it easy. Peace.